Right, so let's, let's look at this question here, which is to integrate this expression here. Uh, at a glance, this may look a bit difficult, uh, but just chill because I think the first thing you should do is to change the angle to the same. And obviously, uh, it's easier to change the first uh, half this angle instead of like doubling this up. So I'm just going to change this to 2 sine x cosine x, right? Because that is my sine 2x formula. This is cos x dx. Okay, great. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is actually just do this as 4 sine square x cosine square x cosine x dx. Now this is a special formula here. So um, just bear with me. I, I know this is going to be a bit difficult here. This is cos cube x dx. Now this is going to be cancelling method as well. So one is odd power. The other one is even power. So we usually let u... Uh, we, we you have to let u be the the uh, what if one is odd and one is even you let u be the one which is odd I mean even so let u equals to sine x okay I'll explain to you why because you need to you be able to use sine square x plus cosine square x equals to one formula here so I'm gonna show you here before so sine square x cosine cube x so du this will just divide uh, sine this with cosine x right cosine x so once this is done cancel it out obviously you need to reduce everything to um what do you call it u right and this case here this is already u square so this is four this is u square so this is u square uh cosine square x will be one minus sine square x we ha which happens to be u as well so this case here will just be u square just like that okay so it's four u square minus u four du this will just be 4 u3 over 3 minus u5 over 5 plus c. So this is 4 third u, substitute back in, which is sine x, sine cube x minus 4 over 5, sine 5x five plus c. Okay, so that's how we do this question here professionally. Any question at all, please let us know. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next question.